Hello guys, I am the No Subscribers Guy, and today I'm bringing you into a, my first World of Tanks review of the Tier 2 American Tank Destroyer, the the famous TA scene. So, I actually really like this machine, it's, it's really nice, uh, it's alright in speed, I guess, once you get the great engine it goes a lot faster, it's got a very good 75 mm howitzer. And the frontal armor at tier two is almost, almost OP really. But we'll just have a look. It's got 125 hit points, which I, I would say is about you know about average for a, a tier two tank, especially tank destroyer. Got a uh, quite a nice engine. I'm still to uh, research the final engine, so I'm just, I'm sticking with what a general, I'll, I'll say new, but a new player would would get with a standard engine. Just to kind of show people what's like it, and then with the 75 mil gun, because that is just insane. You've got 48 speed. Traverse isn't the best on it. I, I don't really like the traverse, but that's the one downside to this tank. It is a brilliant tank, other than its traverse. Got really nice frontal, really nice frontal armor. The sides and the rear, they're, they're pretty good as well. They're alright. You can get penetrated pretty easily from the side and from the rear. From the front, people are just going to struggle unless they're shooting at your lower glacius. But no offense, most tier two and tier one players aren't really experienced enough to know about you know shooting at the lower glacius and perfect like weak spots and stuff on a tank for a new player. It's got, got really good shell damage, really good penetration for uh, this tier. Gun traverse is pretty good. Rate of fire is nice. Good, reasonably good view range and reasonably good signal range, both for st standard uh, radio there. So we'll hop into a game and see how we do with this thing. Well, we're already in. So we're pretty high up, pretty good. This is a very artillery dominated game. So I don't particularly like this map, just for the, the whole openness. But the uh, the TAC can do great if I just go up to the ridge to the north of me right now. I reckon I can do some good up there. The thing is, this thing is the tier two version of the the, the British assault tank line because you know the well, most players will know that the assault tank line have really good at front arm like the AT two. But the only difference is this thing has the frontal armor Not for its my tier, map in the game. In fact, and it also has my least the 75 mil gun, which is just the one of the best guns for tier two, a tier two tank. I'm just gonna edit my setting real quick as we uh, voice turn it down a bit, turn it up, and turn it down again. Alright, sorry about that, we'll just keep going. So, no, the artillery is just rushed up this hill, so I guess I'll have to. I guess I'll head up here and help defend or push around this region and keep our artillery safe. That Lloyd GC just ran up the hill. 2 T57s are keeping quite safe, to be honest. This guy's bold. And a T7 car is just going on a suicide charge. A death to fight suicide charge. Which has indeed ended rather badly for my volume to just come out right now. Alright, that's better. Right, we'll probably use this church to cover. Oh, we're gonna win. It's a bit risky. Oh, I made it though. I made it. It's four through to us, so I'll just try and sneak around the back and start pounding into any targets that we've spotted. Is this? If you aim this, it's got a, quite a long aiming time. But you know, if you weigh and aim and get the perfect shot, you can almost one shot stuff on their team. And we are destroying that. Yeah, the. Uh, whoops. Wrong button there. Tab, even the Samurai and Panzer Jager 1 is having good, a good game. Very good game. 
I have my mistake, I did not mean to click that button. Whoops. 9 3 zero. This game, I probably won't. It's an alright game, I didn't do anything, I literally tried to flank around, but we just seem to have be destroying what the enemy team are doing. 9 3, we, our team's had a really good game. I think it's good for a, a good tier, that's Samurai guy. Still. And the other one got five kills. Just brilliant. I'm a bit annoyed because I thought I could go around the side and catch him enemies flanking around here, but apparently their entire team is too stupid to use the map. And I believe they may have just charged across the open land against the north. I mean, I don't know. I can't particularly see because of the mini map right now. But I'll, I'll keep my advance. Maybe I'll get a kill or something. Hit their artillery. That samurai guy is, but if he gets one more kill, he's got a um, nice medal. Oh, someone's capping. So we're already capping Panzerjäger 1. Doesn't even realize that I'm here. You know, son of a. He's out of the way. Right up there. And then one shot at him. Lloyd GC. Take a pot shot I missed, that's a dumb attempt. T26 premium. That's a ridicule. A good workout for the armor. Pot shot on me. That summer again, brilliant game. I had an alright game, got one kill. It was alright, to be honest, Jimmy A just to flank around the side there. But that Panzerjäger one, you saw that this 75mm can just one shot. A lot of tanks, and this what this tank primarily for, it's a really good assault tank. So, we'll do we'll do one more battle, get into another battle, and see if we can get a better game going this time. We did alright that game, only one kill there. We still got some decent XP and stuff going. Trying to find a match. Wow. Apparently, we're not finding a match. Okay. Well, as soon as I just earned a lot of VXP, I'm going to upgrade the engine on this thing. Well, the nice, nice top engine. Now I can actually go a lot faster now. So now we've upgraded to the top engine, I guess we'll try and find another game. We got to that last one really quick. Oh, anyway, again. Alright, Car... oh, map. There's an alright map. We'll do pretty well. The only thing. I guess it's probably average team. The only thing that they have. Well, only real advice they have of us is that Valentine, uh, Valentine AT, which is a really good tank destroyer. For its tier, anyway. I love, I love the gun balance and everything. The armor is not very good, but the gun, the gun is a nice gun. But we'll view that another day. Today we are we are on the T18, which has from the front few Mama, or none of weak spots except that lower glacier. He's using the standard gun. Most most T18 drivers use the 75 mm because it's just. This tank is almost just overpowered. The frontal armor it has and that 75 mm gun. They both just destroy. Okay, there's a cruiser three charging through the middle. Do I have a shot? I might be on board. So the upgrade engine's got a nice traverse on it. RT time. Nope. And the 38T. Nope. This gun isn't very accurate at long range, it's really. It's more of a, as I said, assault tank, more of a short range brawler. So we're going to do no good around here. We're probably just going to keep advancing. We might try and take some pot shots off at this T69. We need to go up here because our Panzer 1C is. 
come against some pretty formidable enemies. They seem to be circling the Valentine and anti tank. I'll come in and back him up. Yeah, he's taking shots into the Valentine now. I'm coming on this uh, LTP or Valentine. Take an aim shot. Missed. This thing is really not accurate. So we've got a little LTP to deal with. What oh, we're being shot at. We're most likely getting some very fair enemy tanks. I have the upgraded engine, so I. Oh, T18 firing at me. As you pull out of there, I think he's got the, uh, the good gun. Yes, it's a good hit. I'm gonna charge him, All right, he's dead. Didn't get the kill. The team seems to be doing pretty well the last few games. It seems to be sweeping up. BG's gonna disappear, take a pop shot. They missed. Alright, we'll advance then with this coward apparently. I took some damage there from the LTP. Got my right in front of my gun. One of the few weak spots on the front of the T18 really. You see where he bounced from the front and the uh, hit just a weak spot that little hatch there in the front. Somebody hit direct on my gun there. Still got a T18 out there with two kills, so he seems pretty bit of a worry for us right now, wherever he is. Okay, we found the BT7. T18's now got three kills. He's over there, the BT7 is there. That was a waste of a shot. Hey, man, man. Mm, Why right, take him out? Your butt was tasty. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> oh, oh he's being shot up by artillery. He's there right behind us. T26 is going to take him out. Yeah, we've got guys going to the artillery. That T18 is still alive. Five kills, he is. Probably oh, you're mostly using that 75 mil. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, got a good hit off into him. Finish him off. Execute. Got him. <laughs> nice. I right, finished that game quite well with two kills. That was alright. We survived. So we got our right XP and money really. So overall I would say the T eighteen is worth buying. It's a really good tank. And Sorry, just checking how long I've been going for. But yeah, it's a good tank, really good armor on the front. The only problem, the only problem is the, you need the upgrade engine to get anywhere, really. The gun is really good, except at long ranges. It's horrible. At long ranges, it's really a, a close up brawling tank. And that, that's how you have to play it to get the kills. But anyway, thank you, and I'll be, I'll be back with another review soon.